Hi, this is Math Kimchi, and today we will graph y equals 3x minus 1. As always, let's start with a t-table and see what the y values will be when x is negative 3, negative 1, 0, 1, and 3. And now let's just graph negative 3, negative 10, and negative 1, comma, negative 4, 0, comma, negative 7, 1, comma, 2, and 3, comma, 8. Now let's draw the line and label it. And this is not the end of the video, and we will go over some things. Uh, we will go over x and y intersects. And so the x intersect is where a line meets the x axis, and the y intersect is when it's where a line meets the y-axis. Now, uh, for this line, we can see that the y-axis is negative 1, and, but it's kind of hard to see what the x-axis is. And to find the x-axis, we will plug in y as 0, since y equals 0 is the uh, x-axis. If you graph that, you will get the x-axis. And similarly, uh, if you want to find the y-intersect, you plug in x as 0, since x equals 0 is the y axis. So now we have plugged in 0 as, or y as 0, and now let's just do some algebra and get that the x intersect is, or x int, is 1 over 3. And let's just plug in x as 0, 2 in order to find the y-intersect. And we do get negative 1. And let's try, let's look at some of our other lines we have graphed so far. So this is y equals x and uh, we can see that the y-axis and the x-axis are both zero. And another thing we see is that you don't add x by any constant. So you're not adding any constant in this equation. Well, other than zero, but adding zero is like adding nothing. And also y equals negative 2x and uh, here the x and y intersects are also 0 and we also see that we don't add um, any constant here other than 0 but if we go back to y equals negative 3x minus 1 we are adding negative 1, or subtracting 1. And a pattern is, I want you to notice, is that uh, this number you are adding by is also the y-intersect. And actually, um, you're technically adding 0 for y equals x. And the y-intersect is also 0. And same with 
y equals negative 2x. And in the next video about graphing, I will probably explain why this is, and I will also explain why the slope is the thing you multiply x by. And here we can also see that the slope is obviously 3, since you go up 3 and write 1, or up 6 and write 2. So the rise over run is 3 over 1, or 2, or 6 over 2, but either way, the rise over run, if you do it, 6 divided by 2 is just 3, and 3 divided by 1 is 1, so we get that the slope for this line is 3, and we see that pattern where we are multiplying x by 3, and like I said before, I will be going over why this is in the next video about graphing. Uh, thank you for watching.